Hi guys, how are you doing? Senior Gaming here and in today's episode I'm bringing you Blade Idol and I'll be talking accessory. So if you Blade Idol player or perhaps Idol gamer then make sure you subscribe to the channel as I post as often as possible and bring you best tips and advice. Right, so accessories are very powerful pieces of equipment and it will take a lot of patience and hard work to get to these very best items. And for that matter it will take even more diamonds to do so. So obviously we're gonna head over to your inventory and then secondary tab right from um, equipment is gonna be accessories and this is obviously what we're gonna focus on today. But I do strongly believe you should start investing and sort of thinking about accessory shortly after you have unlocked all weapon, gloves, armor and helmet on that very first grade and level 250. This is where you're gonna spend a lot of diamonds um, and enchant stones to get there but finally when you get there you're gonna have your headspace to tackle accessories and that's only my piece of advice but obviously you can start experimenting a little bit earlier than that. So with that obviously then you will heavily focus on summoning. So as mentioned now you won't be summoning weapon or armor you'll be able to fully focus on these accessories and bear in mind when you start unlocking your first um, mythical which means obviously the yellow items or your first god items you will also be having probably unlocked your ego system which it will be shouting for their share of the diamond spending I don't want to confuse you here too much we're gonna focus mainly on accessories um, but obviously in a nutshell the ego system require more of the god items in order to upgrade but that's subject for another video so let's go back to accessories as we have should Right then. So if you, for example, take my progress for instance here, you see there was a little bit of experimenting to start off. Um, I have upgraded quite a lot of uh, low tier items just to obviously see uh, what we can actually do with these very particular systems. But very um, quickly after I have realized there is no point too much investing into that and then I have went with a heavy invest into merge all the items all the way to that final god great. And obviously once you start investing diamonds, as mentioned, because you're gonna put all the other aspects of the game on site, your progress with accessories should be much quicker. Therefore, you shouldn't really lose too much sleep thinking of upgrading low tier um, accessories. Um, and as you see, obviously, a lot of these items, even if we take this very particular one, I have managed to get it to, you know, six yellow stars, etc. Because every single piece of accessory got obviously these three buttons to choose from. So let's explore that for a second, shall we? Um, so obviously merge should not be something unfamiliar with because we had it with a different aspect of the game. You'll be merging your equipment itself. So that's no news for us. And that's basically what it does. It just obviously takes, if I go with auto register, we will take four pieces of the very same um, item grade and we will try to obviously turn it into something stronger. So if I just reset that and obviously get first four Okay, maybe let's go with eight and see how lucky we're gonna get. So if we merge that, as you see, we have managed to get one rare item and obviously there is only a chance to progress higher. Therefore, we have also landed with one item on a very first grade. And that's why obviously where uh, the summoning and spending diamonds will come heavily involved. So obviously your aim is to keep merging all the item grades, you know, from magic into a rare, from rare into epic and all the way down to god. So if we come back to our first item, we have covered merge. Now the second option you've got here is upgrade. And as the name suggests, it does upgrade your items. Um, and these upgraded items will then boost equipped effect and will also unlock options. So I'll show you an example with item which doesn't have any stars, which means it has not been upgraded. Because every single time you upgrade, you're gonna add this very yellow star to the item. So if I click on that, as you see, I got options to upgrade and the upgrade will require a very same item to do so. And as mentioned earlier, it will um, boost my equipped effect and unlock um, these options. So as you see, the first option is on one star, then three, and then six. And then as normal with the uh, ordinary items you have been doing, you've got chance obviously to get your mythical or god grade of options. Okay. And then finally, we've got transcendent 
which again transcend will only unlock after one yellow star so if we click on that or item next to it so as you see now we got options to do it if we do it we using a enchant stone instead of the very same item and that yellow star will then be replaced with a red star so basically what it means you can run with a six a yellow star in a background alongside six red stars so this is as well you can upgrade your stars when it comes to transcend and then again um, enhance your equip effects etc etc okay right so having that out of the way let's discuss the end game gear shall we so every, first of all, every single piece of accessory will have its dominant stat and therefore you want to make sure you'll take advantage of that. So when it comes to rings, rings itself will have a boost when it comes to defense. So their stats and equipped effects will have enhanced defense. When it comes to earring, will have a boost to attack, whilst hairpin will have a boost to HP. So we want to make sure we have that very item in each type of the accessories alongside obviously with tons of attack. You know, we love our attack and that's never enough of it. So therefore, your perfect setup should look like this. So we're gonna start off with ring, I'm gonna scroll all the way down. So we want to go ahead with a angel ring and this is where you're gonna boost our attack. Then we're gonna talk about Eerist ring and this is where we talk about this enhanced defense and that's 130 just on a very first tier and then finally we're gonna talk here about paladin ring again a little bit more of attack then we're heading over to earrings and then we start with obviously the god ones which is pentendium eye ring and this again enhance our attack but we need to bear in mind earrings actually got boosted attack already so we're talking about pentandium earring. Then we're gonna choose our pure ocean earring, which gives us defense, but there is also an additional bonus, which I'm gonna cover in just a second. And then finally, we got amber all earring, as you see again with enhanced attack. So then moving finally into hairpin, we're gonna go with a red spinel pin, again for additional attack. Then we move into Peridot Pin, which have this enhanced HP, as the hair pin is, does. And then finally we have this Gold Maharaja Pin, again boosting our attack. So then finally, on top of that, obviously you're gonna have option of having special party effects. And talking about that very pure ocean iron I mentioned earlier, if you go back to upgrade option, as you see, there is a special party effect. So if we put it together with a palladium ring, which was in our very setup, we're gonna have additional 300 penetration. And then if I'll go back to a hairpin, for instance, and I'll be talking this gold Maharaja, again, having it together with amber all earring will give us additional accessory option attack. So therefore, this should be your end setup you want to go for. Obviously, this is at the time of recording of this video. The game might surprise us in a few months' time and obviously have something added. But currently, as it stands, I believe this is the setup I'm going for. And then last piece of advice before I wrap up. When I was talking about merge itself, if we actually go into merge and select these uh, very uh, god items, you can also have options to start merging them obviously into a different god items. There is no higher grade than that. But what I exactly want to tell you in here, um, obviously your final gear, like every other tier of equipment, have these two rows. And basically what it means that row one is gonna be slightly weaker than row two. And that's why obviously our final top gear was all allocated in that second row. As you see in here for this instance, we got 76 defense against 100%. But I strongly believe rather than using this very first tier and try to merge them, having into consideration that you can merge them into more first row accessories therefore i think you should aim for these very last items but if you got a chance of having this upgraded at the same time then you should do so because until you will have um, you know good luck with landing these very items this is something you can get yourself back up with so if you're aiming for gold maharaja and attack accessories if you get actually more of dragon pin then you should definitely upgrade and for the time being replace unless you have upgraded all of the first row onto max level, then by all means you should go ahead and merge. 
Alright then guys, I know it was a lot of information, I hope you'll be able to digest it. If you have found this useful, then make sure you subscribe, and as always, I'll see you next time.